sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> You're the one that got it. <laughs> well, once again, I'd like to thank Governor Deal and, and Senator Eisenman and Senator Purdue for being here and Representative uh, Carter. Uh, the state has done a phenomenal job helping Glen County. They have brought in just vast resources from every state agency. And as the governor pointed out, there was a breakdown yesterday in communications. And like I've tried to emphasize to, to, to our folks from the get-go, it's been 118 years. We may make some mistakes, but we're going to learn from those mistakes, and we're going to do it better. God forbid that we ever have to go through this again. So as the governor said, don't nitpick us because certain things got screwed up. But in answer to your question, what the problem is right now on St. Simons is we have a, wo a boil water in place. You have to boil water. That's the first thing that we didn't have on the mainland yesterday. The second thing is that we have raw sewage in the streets. So it is a public safety hazard. We cannot let people back in, and I don't think people would want to go back in when they have to come back in and, and deal with those kind of problems. We have Georgia Power and our Water Sewer Commission working diligently, and they will continue to work until those problems are resolved. And as soon as we can open St. Simon's back up, we know it's an inconvenience for the residents, but we'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to some of the issues that we have on St. Simons that we did not have on the mainland yesterday. So Mr. So. Strickland, is this still considered phase one <coughs> stages of, uh, of returning as the four stage plan the county has? For St. Simons? St. Simons yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Do you have a general time frame? We're, we're, going, we're going to look at uh, reevaluating it this afternoon uh, uh, between five and six. We'll see where we're at then. Right now, and so please don't hold me to this. Oh, they we're, will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. We're looking at, at maybe sometime tomorrow morning. That's kind of where we're at. So I know that'll go out to everybody on Facebook and everything else and say, Glen County will be open tomorrow morning, but that's maybe. You just put it on Facebook, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Scott. <laughs> always count on you so uh but anyway that's where we're at uh, but once again let me emphasize the state has provided us with tremendous assets and resources and this community should be very great grateful for what governor deal and all of the state agencies have done for us and and we just want again thank you so much thank governor. you yes, thank sir. you mr chairman thank you sir thank you all for being here yes one, this will be the last one we know the locals now are going to say when St. Simons can go. Are we assured by the governor that Chima will not overstep and say, no, you can't go? State's ready to go as soon okay. as the local authorities tell us it's time to go. Right. Yes. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Uh, thank you for all that you've done to make people aware of the circumstances. I think being informed has been one of the greatest allies we have had in dealing with this uh, hurricane. Thank you all. Thank you. Good to see 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 you. This is this. Thank you. I'm right. I appreciate all the messages you've been putting out. That's been very helpful. Anybody? It fell, okay? You, I think your batteries. Pretty good.